Yabba dabba do guys. What's up? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. Today, I'm going to talk about the isn't it wonderful um, phrase. Again, I'm going to talk about it. And I find the reason why I'm going to talk about it is because I find, for me, it works the most effectively. It, it, I feel like it resonates with me the most. It feels natural to me to use the isn't it wonderful phrase. Maybe I'll use something like, isn't it wonderful that I'm financially, that I'm financially rich and free? Or if I use something like that on those lines, if I just kind of loop that, not, not an obsessive way, but just like really trying to saturate myself into that state. When you saturate yourself into a state, you'll notice when you focus on one state, Say like if you're doing something repetitive like washing dishes or doing something repetitive most of your day. If you focus on that state and if you observe the events around you, they'll, you'll notice the events around you start to um, uh, relate to your assumption, your, your state of being. Your, your be, be still know that I'm this which I desire to be. Uh, I I, te I I find it's the best for me. I mean, I made that one video when I used the Isn't it Wonderful. Um, made that video, and it's just like my subscribers skyrocketed from, what, 25 subscribers to over a 1,000 in two months just by using the Isn't it Wonderful. Just by using the phrase. Um, I'm not saying to use it 24, not like obsessively, 24 7 affirm like isn't it wonderful isn't it wonderful isn't it? just just really when you have the time to really do something habitual when if you're talking to someone like if you're talking to someone in conversation you don't have to obsess like stop i i gotta i gotta use my affirmations isn't it wonderful isn't it no it literally is just using the phrase when you have the time to use it like me out here just kind of Enjoying the day, enjoying this cold morning. I can use phrases like, isn't it wonderful that that I'm financially rich and free? Money could literally, some stranger could come out of nowhere. Just give me money. Just um, randomly give me money. And there's no and there's no random occurrences, guys. Everything's in orchestrated order. That's why I made a book. That's why I've written a book called Inner Conversations Revealing Orchestrated Experiences. Whatever we assume true within ourselves, it reveals to us. And it, um, and if we, if we assume money's coming to me, money's coming unexpected ways, then um, money will show up in the form of like tips or a paycheck raise or an extra or another job offer or just. Stimulus checks, what, whatever, guys. It's a don't limit yourself to your, just your job or something like that. Don't li don't think you have to get like three jobs, work a hundred plus hours a week. It's literally, I mean, you could have no job. You can have no job. You have no source, known, no known source of income. You can have no bank account, and you can still get money just by assuming the state of wealth by staying by um. Frequently occupying the state of wealth, that wealth is coming your way. Isn't it wonderful that I'm financially abundant and free? You can have no evidence. You can have no evidence. You have no bank account. You can have no source of income and still, no known source of income that is. And you can still have money coming your way. Someone who appears poor, they're in the state, they could be in the state of wealth and then they're still supplied. Um, they can have no shelter. They're still supplied. Um, and the, I'm kind of going off of the uh, um, one lady I read the book called Peace Pilgrim where she, she asked for no food, no money, no shelter, and yet she was still in the receptive attitude that everything she would get her needs met, and she did. She had no attachment to any kind of objective um, known thing. She lived in the uncertainty. You don't have to go to that extreme, guys. That's just an example. Um, but yeah, I like to use the isn't wonderful. Isn't it wonderful that I'm financially rich and wealthy and money would just come my way. 
or if I would assume, isn't it wonderful that this perfect relationship, this ama- this ideal relationship is coming to my life? You can make it anonymous, guys. You can, the, I think if you make it let, kind of be in between general and specific, maybe not too specific where you get so overly attached to this thing, maybe not too general where it's like, you're just kind of like, well, because I feel like there's a fine balance. It, it's whatever resonates with you. If you want to be general, that's fine. If you want to be specific, that's fine. Just realize that you give life to what you put your attention on. What you focus on grows. What you resist persists. And what you resist, guys, when you resist something, you're actually putting your attention on something that you don't want. And it keeps persisting in your life. Turn your attention away from the things you don't want. Turn the, turn the other cheek. Put your attention on what you do want in life and it'll be yours so guys this is where i kind of i love the isn't wonderful uh method because when you use some it's not the words it's it's your deeper mind your deeper subjective subconscious mind it recognizes the words like i when i use wasn't wonderful something wonderful is about to happen if you use things words like riches abundance well just these powerful words you don't even have to attach it with like I am or anything. You can say the words like wealth, abundance, success, and just live from those states. You'll start to see events start to play out in your favor. It'll start to conform in your favor without going against anyone's free will. Life is yours, guys. Life is yours. It literally is in your hands. You are the light of the world. You and I are the light of the world. We are all the light of the world. We give light to everything the stars, the planets. The trees, the ocean, mountains, everything objective. Everything that's objectified starts from the light that we are. We are made of star stuff, guys. Our bodies are made of star stuff, but actually, we as as consciousness give light to these bodies. Everywhere. Someone told me once that... uh, that, uh, Everything that appears solid, everything that's like this room here is frozen light. It appears solid when really, guys, it's just it's just the way that um, we perceive it with our minds. That door over there, I perceive that with my mind. I perceive it as solid when really it's just the atomic structure, which really atomic structure is just mind stuff. Mind is matter. Mind is the matrix of all matter. The mind is the matrix of all matter. So guys, yeah. Play with this stuff. It, it's amazing. Isn't it wonderful? And uh, I hope this video helps. I bless you all and happy manifesting.